Carpe Seuss. When hunting up in North Texas, got set up on my ridge top overlooking 350 acres when I spied these geese flying by. A little while later, I also notice hogs coming in on the neighbor's property. I often see hogs over there and I try to keep an eye on them just in case they come over to the property that I can hunt. Now these hogs were coming out of a gap in the woods that you see over here to the right and they just kept trickling out for a while. I scanned the rest of my property but would keep an eye on these hogs. More and more continued to come in and to pass the time I tried counting them numerous times. There appeared to be about 20 hogs in the group. For a while I was watching deer and hogs in the same field. Then I noticed something interesting. All the animals are lined up along a line which actually is the fence line separating the properties. This indicated to me that maybe the hogs would be crossing over to the property that I hunt and that I needed to hoof my way around there to get a better view of the hogs. And there they are lined up at the fence. Here I've made it into the field where the hogs are. They're just beyond this ridge and I can barely see them. Now I've moved over that ridge and I've got a good look at the hogs. And they're only about 80 yards away at this point. I figure that I probably don't need to get any closer. I'm close enough at this point. And so really all I need to do is assess to make sure that everything's clear. I've got some deer on the neighbor's property up here to the left. The hogs are in a low area with the rise coming up behind them going up to the fence line so any shots that I take at the hogs as long as they're in the low area will have plenty of backstop and I don't have to worry about bullets crossing over to the neighbor's property. And I just need to select my target which I think is going to be this sow. Do another check of the hogs around her. Get lined up and here we go. She goes right down. I pick up these hogs running before they get out of the low area. I drop that one. That shot's a little bit high and the hogs are leaving the area that I want them to be in. And the second hog I drop is running. And the Hornet DSST 6.5 Grindel Ammo is going to do some just massive damage on this hog. Watch right here. And she will not be getting up again. There are no more viable shots at this point. The hogs are leaving the property. And I am done. The shot on the first sow probably took out the cervical spine. And when I cut her open, she had seven on board. The second sow had a lot of damage. This one going through the pelvis, exiting out the back end. The last shot removed her brain and she had a lot of damage in her torso and midsection as well. Like the first sow, she was pregnant and she had four on board and the one on the left had been split in two by the pelvic shot. I moved on to my next property which is about 11 miles southwest of the previous property. This is a field where the last time I was here I got busted by the hogs and they took off on me and unfortunately it's going to happen again on this hunt as well. except. I'm not going to come away empty handed. As I made my way into the field, the first animals to spook were the cattle that moved out of their bedded area into the open field. And then as I worked my way down towards the hogs, I needed to pass through these deer. And they spooked, alerting the closer hogs that took off on me. Given that they didn't sound any warning grunts, I have a feeling they didn't know what was going on and just took off for safety. So I dropped the first one with a shot to the head and picked up the running hogs down here. And one shot actually dropped two hogs. I had a malfunction where the round did not feed. By the time I got it cleared, one of the hogs had made it off property. And that was the end of the hunt. The first sow was shot behind the left ear where the bullet crossed through the brain and exited out in front of the right ear. And she was also carrying seven piglets on board. This last hog was the small hog of the night. The initial shot crippled her going through the spine, so I had to deliver a coup de gras shot to finish her off. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal.
The final tally for the night was four sows, plus 18 unborn piglets on board. Carpe sus, my friends. Mm.